Hello everyone, we are Billy and Jack and today we are cooking with Comte and boy have we got an incredible recipe for you guys. Oh mate, yeah, we are rustling up this lovely deep filled quiche with oozing bits of big Comte in it with some peas, we've got some courgettes, we've got onions, oh, it is gonna be delicious. It's fantastic, you guys do not wanna miss this one. And of course, Comte is not just a cheese you have on your cheese board and nibble on, although we, we also do that quite I mean, a lot I've, as well. I've eaten a lot of it on the cheese board, to be honest. <laughs> But also it's amazing to go in all sorts of different dishes and we're really excited about showing you this thing today because we've also learned a lot about Comte yeah. cheese. Doing it's got a illustrious history on one of them. It's been made for over a thousand years. Each wheel of Comte cheese, these great big wheels, is ever so slightly different. They're all unique. It's a little bit like you, but in a good way. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and yeah. Amazing, amazing ingredient. Made with milk from the 1% pampered cow that we like to call up in the Jura Mountains. Throughout the spring they, they have all the little flowers that are on the meadow so it makes the, the milk I'd assume a little bit sweeter so the cheese is different to when they have a winter diet. It's, it's amazing really. It's a great ingredient and it tastes amazing and we can't wait to show you guys our quiche. Let's crack on. So obviously with a quiche the first thing that you need to make is the pastry. Now of course you can buy this from the shop which is fine, but Jack here is going to show you how easy it is to make, aren't you Jack? It's really simple, you don't need to be scared about it at all. So, all we need, first off, 300 grams of plain flour into our food processor, there. And we also need 150 grams of cold butter. Has to be cold, very, very important. And we're just going to put the butter into the food processor as well. Add a pinch of salt. And we're going to blitz that until it resembles breadcrumbs. Just on pulse until it begins to go. Nearly there. Perfect. A little drizzle of cold water, I think, is the next bit going in, isn't it, Chef? That's it, just to pull it together. Oh no, I need to put it in there. I know you do, but the flour's going to go everywhere. We're good, we're good. Just a little bit at a time. Be really slow with this, you don't want to put too much water in. That's the badger. Okay, so it's all come together, and that's our pastry. Now we're going to take this out, we're going to wrap it in cling film and we're going to rest it in the fridge for about 30 minutes because you just want it to be nice and cold when you then roll it out. That is all wrapped, ready to go in the fridge and we'll bring it out 30 minutes to get it rolled out. Time to get rolling. So, they do say that I'm the, uh, the You're muscles. You're the muscle and I'm the brain. <laughs> Come on Mr. Muscle. Mr. You muscle. Can do this. You're getting there, mate. You're getting there, finally. Right, so now our pastry is rolled out. It's time to go into our tin. We're using a nine inch spring form tin, and this is gonna be really beautiful and deep. It's quite forgiving, this pastry, so yeah. don't worry if it, there's a little few rips or holes, or you can patch it up, can't you? We're all about rustic here, because once you've filled it full of delicious Comte, who cares what it looks like? So we're just gonna prick that now, and then in with some baking paper. Pop that in. And then your baking beans. And your baking beans. Right. And this is now ready to go into the oven at 180 degrees for 15 minutes, and then a further 10 minutes at 140 degrees. On your way. Done. Boom. So now the pastry case has been in the oven for 25 minutes. We need to take the beans out, we need to trim it, and we need to egg wash it. Tess, it's all right. It's a bit hot. Mmm. 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 Good though. Mmm. Now that's back into the oven at 140 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. Till nice and golden and cooked through, you'll know when it's done. Now for the filling. So we've got one large white onion, a little bit of olive oil in the pan there, and we're gonna fry this off until it goes nice and soft. So pop that in. There you go. And then we're gonna add in our courgettes, and you wanna use two large courgettes for this. Beautifully sliced, I might add. So now we're onto the main event, we're onto the cheesy custard. So while I'm going to grate the lovely compo, Jack's going to crack eggs into the food processor that we haven't washed, so you can just crack on. Crack, well, crack on. You are cracking on. Ting. I'm here all week. <laughs> cheese in. So, cheese into there. And then, yeah, 200 mils of double cream and 200 mils of milk. In it goes. There you go. Oh, beautiful. And then just a pinch of salt. Ooh, a little bit of pepper. Pinch of pepper. Beautiful. Right. And then here she blows. Mm. 
You just want to give that a quick whiz in the food processor until it all comes together and then you're done. It's as simple as that. And we're going to layer this up. So first in goes the courgette and onion. Here we go. Half of them. Half the courgette and onion goes in the bottom. That's brilliant. And then we're going to go half of the cubed comté as well. Now we've left this cubed because so when it bakes, it's going to go all lovely and gooey in the middle. Nice little kind of pockets of beautiful cheese in there. So we're just going to put a little bit on the top and then we're going to put half of the peas on. You don't have to be very neat with this, just, just whack it in, don't you? You just have to want to get those different layers when you cut through it once it's done. Mm. That's it. And then courgette again. The rest of the comté. Absolutely beautiful. And then the rest of the peas. Okay. Come on. Sorry, Chef. <laughs> I'm told off. That's perfect. And then we're going to pour in our egg custard over the top. Oh, beautiful. Nice and slowly, all the way to the top. Oh, perfect. Now, be very careful. Do you want me to get the oven door, please? Please get the oven door. Be very careful, this is gonna to go to the oven now at 140 degrees for at least an hour and a half. I can't believe it hasn't spilled a drop. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, 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 oh. Cool. in. And now I think probably time for a little cheeky glass of wine while we wait for that to cook. And a little bit more cheese. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Down the hatch. Mm. So good. Mm. Whilst our quiche is cooking, we're going to rustle up a really quick and easy herby sauce, which will just go absolutely perfectly with the finished quiche. So, inside here, we've got some walnuts, we've got some sage, and we've got some basil. Simple as that. I'm going to give that a little blitz up. And then we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil, just to bring it together into a beautiful sauce consistency. A bit of pepper. And that is done. God, it's going to go so well with it. It's got a punch. It's beautiful, oh, isn't it? Yeah, right. So just in case you were worried we hadn't got enough content in this recipe, we have some of the more mature. This 24 month. Have, oh. a, have, a, have, a, have a go on that. Yeah. Oh, that smells so good. Just simply grated, little piles on a baking sheet. And then into the oven, 180 for right. 10, 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Until they go all bubbly and crispy. That's the idea. So the time has finally come, all that waiting, and if the time is here, can you, uh, Jack, do the honours and get this beast out of the oven? Here we go. Oh, oh. smells beautiful. Oh, don't Oh, wow. Uh, look at the wobble wow, on that, baby. look at that. That is perfect. Look at that. Oh, oh nice little jiggle. Beautiful wobble. Oh. I'm getting hungry. Me too, mate. Getting Me too. Hungry. And here we go. Here it is. Does it look oh. amazing? Right, right. I'm going in. Come, on, mate. You cut this open. I'm going in. I can't wait to dig into this. Oh, it feels. Oh. It, it's... I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. A big piece, obviously, because we're big boys. That generous portion, absolutely. Oh, oh, look at that. That is perfect. And so we're going to just dress that with a little bit of our sauce, just on the top there. Beautiful. Look at that. That's, is that not majestic? Love I would, it. I would say that's incredible. Perfect majestic. for um, to take to work, to take to the office, feed your mates, feed your mates around at your house, uh, go for a picnic. Oh, it's got oh, all sorts of possibilities. Lost for words how good that looks. And if you want to make this, then you can check out the full recipe at the Comte Cheese UK website and uh, have a blast, dig in, because that's what we're going to do. Mate, you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Definitely give it a go, it's worth it, 100%.